This video is meant to help you better understand an ileostomy reversal procedure and what you can expect as part of its recovery. An ileostomy is a small opening in the abdomen where a part of your small intestine is brought to the skin. This opening allows for stool to empty into a collection bag. If you had undergone surgery for colorectal cancer or other conditions affecting the lower digestive tract, an ileostomy may have been created to keep stool away from the affected area. Once healing has occurred and your surgical team determines that it is safe, the ileostomy can be reversed to restore bowel function a few months after your initial surgery. Before the operation can be performed, additional tests must be conducted. You will have several routine blood tests performed before your operation to ensure that you are healthy enough to undergo surgery. To test the connection, a CT scan or X-ray based study will be performed with a special contrast dye administered through a tube in the rectum. This will help confirm that the connection is healed. If your imaging is normal, you will undergo a flexible sigmoidoscopy in clinic to confirm that your new connection and lower digestive tract is healthy. This is not performed with any sedation and takes less than five minutes. You may need to have fleet enemas prior to the sigmoidoscopy. There are also some things that you can do before your operation to improve your recovery. One of the best things that you can do to improve your health and speed up your recovery after surgery is to stop smoking. The more smoke-free time before your operation, the better your recovery will be. Talk to your family physician or surgical team if you would like to discuss smoking cessation aids. Properly managing and treating any health conditions you might have will greatly improve your recovery. Your surgical team will often request the assistance of a medical team to ensure that your medical conditions are well addressed prior to your operation. Undergoing surgery is a bit like running a marathon, so training your body for the stress of an operation is important. Everyone's recovery can be improved through exercise in the weeks leading up to an operation. Doing exercises to strengthen the muscles in your pelvic floor can also improve your surgery outcomes. You can refer to online Kegel exercises, or you may be referred to a pelvic floor physiotherapist. Some patients may be referred to a prehabilitation program in which they will see a psychologist, physiotherapist, and registered dietitian to help them prepare for the operation. In an ileostomy reversal, you will lie on your back on the operating table, and your anesthesiologist will provide general anesthesia. Once you are asleep, a breathing tube will be placed in your throat. In most cases, this operation is performed through an incision around your ileostomy. The ends of the healthy small bowel are connected using a specialized stapling device. This allows your gastrointestinal tract to once again be a continuous tube. Different surgeons have different approaches to close the skin of your stoma site to reduce the risk of infection and improve the appearance of the scar. If a suture is used, a small hole may be left in your skin. This is done intentionally to reduce the risk of infection. At times, a small piece of gauze is left in place and will be removed in one to two days. In some cases, a drain is placed through another opening to ensure that the site heals well, and this is typically removed after a few days. Like any operation, there are risks when having this surgery. There is a small chance of infection at the surgical incision and a small chance of bleeding during the operation. There is also a small chance of a leak from the connection between the two ends of the small bowel. If a leak in the new connection occurs, you may need antibiotics. You may also need an additional procedure, depending on how severe the leak is, which may involve an additional ileostomy. If you previously had a low anterior resection as part of your cancer treatment, you will likely experience altered bowel function after the ileostomy reversal. 
This is a group of symptoms known as low anterior resection syndrome. You will develop loose, frequent, and urgent stools and the sensation of incomplete emptying. Fecal incontinence is not uncommon in the early phase after surgery. These changes may be temporary or long-lasting and are important for you to know about. Your surgical team will work closely with you to help manage your symptoms and help maintain your quality of life. One of the most challenging aspects of the recovery from this operation is the management of LARS symptoms. Management options include minimize the amount of fatty foods, greasy foods, spicy foods, high sugar foods, dairy, and caffeine for the initial portion of your recovery, as these are associated with more challenging bowel movements to deal with. Additional food groups that you may want to avoid include skins of fruits and vegetables, leafy vegetables, whole grains, wheat bran, nuts, and seeds. Instead, try to incorporate fruits without skin, non-stringy and peeled vegetables, potatoes without skin, and oat bran. Once you have recovered further, you will meet with a dietitian. Rather than eating three meals per day, divide your meals into six smaller meals and spread them out throughout the day. This will help to decrease the number of times the colon is stimulated to evacuate stool. Try not to eat within four hours of going to bed. Taking a dose of Imodium two hours before going to bed will help to minimize the number of times you wake up in the middle of the night. Try to hold your bowel movements in and allow for the colon that has replaced the rectum to stretch further and hold more stool. After bowel movements, avoid wiping with dry toilet paper and clean the area with water instead. Using a bidet after a bowel movement is advisable. If you need to wipe, try to use wet wipes, preferably a hypoallergenic form. Apply a barrier ointment such as zinc oxide or penitin to the perianal skin, not inside the anus at least three to four times per day. Most patients who have had an ileostomy reversal will recover for one to three days in hospital. While you are in hospital, any pain that you have will be managed using medication that is injected or taken as pills, depending on your level of nausea. Outside of what was recommended for decreasing Lars symptoms, there are no dietary restrictions. You can start eating full meals on the day after surgery if you feel comfortable doing so though your surgical team may recommend that you start with fluids only and slowly work up to solid food. Either way, there is no risk of damage to your intestine. There are no food texture restrictions after this operation. One of the most important things that you can do to help speed your recovery is to start moving around on the day of your operation. This includes getting out of bed, walking to the washroom to use the toilet, and walking around the hospital unit or hospital halls. You are safe to be discharged home when you can tolerate eating and drinking, your pain is managed on oral medications, and when you are able to move around and support yourself safely. We do not wait for you to have a bowel movement before you go home. This is likely to happen after discharge. After you are discharged from the hospital, you will continue to recover for a few weeks at home. During this time, you may require help with housekeeping, meal preparation, grocery shopping, and childcare. You may also need time off from your work. You should not require narcotic pain medications beyond the first few days after the operation. Usually, over-the-counter medications like Tylenol or Advil are encouraged for any lingering discomfort. If you have pain that is not controlled with these medications, it may be a sign that you are suffering from a complication. You should contact your physician's office or return to the hospital. Once your pain is manageable with over-the-counter medications and you feel comfortable doing so, you may safely return to working and driving. One of your main limitations for returning to work will likely be your bowel frequency and other LARS symptoms. You can start doing regular cardiovascular exercise one week after your operation, but you should avoid lifting anything heavier than 10 to 15 pounds 
or 5 to 7 kilograms, for 4 weeks. After that, you can slowly work towards heavier lifting. Just remember to start low and go slow. Three to four weeks after your operation, you will return to the clinic so that the surgical team can assess your recovery and the healing of your incisions. If you have a suture at the site, this can be removed at that time. We understand that this is a difficult and frightening time for you, but it is important to know that your surgical team is always ready to help you and that they want to ensure that you can continue living a healthy and happy life for as long as possible. Don't hesitate to reach out to your surgical team, family doctor, or other medical specialists if you have questions or concerns about your treatment plan.